People go into school thinking that a great architect is someone who makes a lot of money or is famous or has worked on various famous projects from all over the world. And these may be your goals starting out. And there's nothing wrong with these goals. As you advance though, your classmates, teachers, and sometimes even bosses start to tell you that your goals are not realistic and you may have to start to settle for other more normal goals, if you will. You start to assume that architects who reach such a high level of success are not made, but born. And maybe you weren't born talented, so you have to pick a different goal. And that simply just isn't true. If your goal is to be a great architect, then you should keep that dream constantly fresh on your mind and ignore those who will ignorantly tell you otherwise. But before you decide you want to be a great architect, you have to define what great is. And this is personal. I can give you some ideas though. A great architect is one that is passionate, who cares about the work they do. Someone who wants to change the world through design. Someone who wants to better the experience of anyone that comes across their work. A great architect tries to be different, not always through design, but through action. Now let's explore these characteristics and look into how you could shift your career to take a path that lines up with your goals. We have different perspectives when it comes to defining what a great architect is. But one of the goals I often heard students express is how they wanted to change the world through design. They wanted to make it better. Now, normally what I've seen happens is that a student will start out very passionate and motivated, believing in what they want to achieve. But the longer they are around others that don't believe their dream is possible, the more hope is lost in themselves. This carries over to their job when they begin working on projects and assume their goal was just a far-fetched one. So here's my advice. Don't follow what others are doing. Unless it's your goal, don't graduate, then look for whatever firm is hiring and get a nine to five, then continue doing this till you retire. That's almost a surefire way you won't reach your original expectations. You wouldn't buy a car or a house without doing some research first, right? So why would you risk your life and the possibility of being miserable in a job you hate without having researched it beforehand? Instead, start researching for firms worldwide or firms near you, companies who are closer to reaching your goal than you are. Make a list of as many firms and organizations as you can, separating them by near and far. Once you've found every possible option out there, it's time to get in contact with them. If you don't feel you can express yourself too comfortably over the phone, that's okay for now. Start by sending them an email as detailed as possible, expressing your interest in the work they do. Tell them a little bit about yourself, about your studies, your interests, and how your goals to change the world line up with theirs. It's easier to learn from someone who's done something similar to what you want to do than to figure out everything on your own and risk not accomplishing it. The point of this exercise is not only to hopefully land a job, but also make contacts. People that you can keep in touch with when it's time to work on your own goals. People that have experience and can help you in the future. In other words, mentors. It's important to always surround yourself with people like this because they will never tell you that your ideas are not possible. Instead, they'll tell you quite the opposite. This is key if you want to reach your goals. So research firms and organizations, see if you can get a job with them. If not, don't be afraid to keep in contact with them. They won't mind. Another thing I used to always hear back at school was students mentioning they wanted to be great designers like Frank Lloyd Wright, Zaha Hadid, or Bjark Ingels. And it always annoyed me when professors would smirk at them, like when parents smirk at kids who say they want to be superheroes one day. Professors made it seem like you had to have been born gifted because great designers are born, not made, or because they were just simply lucky. This is not true at all. Great architects and designers are not always born. Many are made. And again, I'll mention that how they reached it was by doing things that other architects weren't doing. So I'll tell you once more. Don't go to school expecting you're gonna graduate. Then some scout from a big firm is gonna see your work and deem you the project designer at said firm it's not gonna happen. If you want to be a great designer, you have to learn design from other great designers because school is just not good enough. School is only good for meeting cool people and exploring and learning to harness your creativity. What do I mean by this? Are there any buildings you admire near you? Find out what firm designed it. If they're local, pay them a visit. Take your portfolio and resume and ask if you could speak to someone about possibly working there. If you land an interview, make sure you explain to them your admiration for the building that brought you to the firm and tell them your goals for being a designer in the future. It's important that you let others know what your goals are because this is a good way to know if they take you seriously or not. It also shows you're passionate about what you want to do and this will take you a long way. You could also email firms that are not near you, but keep in mind that this will result in you having to commute 
or move if they're interested in offering you a position. By watching this video, you've already taken a big step and that is educating yourself. Students tend to only dedicate time to work on assignments given by the professor and don't do anything outside of that to explore architecture. So find out what other students are doing in other schools. Find out what others think about the field. Don't just stop at my channel. Go check out other channels too. Read books, and if you don't like to read or just don't have time, then listen to audiobooks. I'm not sponsored by them, but Audible is an awesome website where for $15 a month, you get one audiobook. That's $15 a month, the price of three cups of coffee at Starbucks, but instead, it's not going to waste when you go to the bathroom. It stays with you and shapes who you are and the person that you become. Aim to learn something new every day, whether it's from books, audiobooks, podcasts, videos, or other people. One thing I never understood is why schools don't pressure their students to join more competitions. Competitions are a great way to discover other things you're passionate about, explore your creativity, and refine skills you have. Never aim to win the competition, but instead aim to join and complete them. I know you already have a lot of work on your plate while at school, but it only gets worse after you graduate. Some competitions are a little more open about their prerequisites, so consider taking the project you're currently working on and submit that. You could also consider talking to your professor about switching the semester project out with one of the current competitions that are ongoing during your semester, and it's worth a try. A good place to start is arcdaily.com. They are often updating their competition list, and you never know, you might even win a few of them. People love to tell you that something is hard or not achievable. More often than not, people will express resistance toward your ideas when it's something outside of their own realm of possibilities. And it's important that you stay away from those because the longer you are around them, the more chances you have of ending up like them. So write down your goals, do what others aren't willing to do to achieve them, and go after them, avoiding those who say you can't and gravitating toward those who tell you you will. As always, this is Mooch. Thank you for watching my videos. Good luck on becoming a great architect and feel free to reach out with whatever questions or doubts you may have. See you down in the comments.